Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Finca, which is a cool little Moncala game that was doing Moncala before Moncala was cool. It's been out for quite a while, and I'm going to do a two-player run through of it today. I am the green player, Jen is the blue player, and at the beginning of the game, depending on how many players, you get a certain number of workers that have to be placed on this randomly generated every single time you play windmill that is effectively a Moncala that we will be moving clockwise around to harvest fruit. Why are we harvesting fruit? Because the people of Mallorca demand fruit, or nuts, in the case of almonds. Or, anyway, and so all these different regions, as you can see, have gotten randomly stacked piles of stuff. This region wants three oranges and two dates for five points. This region, oops, knocked all that around. Ah, this region wants one lemon for one point. This region wants five of any one thing for five points. And so we are going to be trying to collect the right fruits and deliver them as fast as possible. Because once four of these regions have been wiped out and four fincas have been built, or I should say wiped out, I should say supplied all the stuff they want and four fincas have been built, that triggers the end of the game. So let's get going. I'm the first player, and as part of setup, after you've made the board and you can see what all the targets are for you know the, the different areas, we need to put our workers at, on the different spokes of this windmill. Every time we do, we get one good, uh, or one fruit that's there. And you know what? I'm thinking about that. I'm gonna try and supply the three oranges and two dates. So I'm gonna come over here, and that gets me one orange. All righty. And now Jen gets to go, and where is she gonna go? Do, 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 do. She will go on ahead, and hey, yeah, she needs a lemon. So what the heck, she'll come over here so that she'll, she'll have one lemon right from the get-go to be able to take care of this town. And me, I want some more oranges, so I'm gonna come over here and take another orange. All right, and Jen says, ooh. All right, so she can see I'm starting to build stuff up there. What would she? like to do. What else should she collect? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. She'll put a guy over here to get some grapes. Grapes. She's thinking she'll fulfill this little contract right there that needs three grapes. And all right. And then I've got a third orange. I want oranges. And by now, Jen can, well, Jen can tell I'm either going for this that needs three oranges or this that needs three oranges or heck, this for five or five, which could be of anything. And Jen says, you know what? I could use some more grapes. So she'll go there, and she's got her second grape. And now, remember, what else? Oh, I needed some um, figs. So I'll come here and get myself a fig. And Jen says, oh, well, that's delightful. Uh, she needs one more grape. All right, and she gets another grape. And now my last one, I need one more date. All right, and so I've got exactly what this town needs, and Jen's got one more. She's got what this town needs. She's got what this town needs. She needs to start collecting something else. What would that be? Hmm. Um. Let's see here. Maybe. Yeah, with heck. She'll go here and she'll get a date of her own and kind of join me on that spoke. All right, so there we go. We're set up, we're ready to go. We each have our own collection of fruit. And now during setup, that was the way we just put our guys on one at a time. And every time you put one on, you get one single fruit. For the rest of the game, this Moncala is gonna work radically differently and we're ready to start now. Now on your turn, you can do one of two things. You can either move one of your workers a certain number of spaces on the windmill and collect some more fruit, or if you have any donkey carts, you can use a donkey cart to deliver the fruits you've already got onto the island. Now, I've got all the fruits I need to deliver to this space and get that five points to fill that contract, but I don't have a donkey cart. How do you get donkey carts? Well, whenever you move your workers, they have to go clockwise. And whenever they cross this spoke or this spoke, whenever they cross the three o'clock or the nine o'clock on the windmill, that's when you get a donkey cart. So I need to cross the line. So for starters, I will have um, this guy I'm gonna move this guy, and remember, they always move clockwise. Now, the way they move is, you pick a guy up, and he is gonna move clockwise the number of spaces that the current thing he's on has. Or the, is the, the number, he's gonna move forward the number of spaces equal to the number of workers where he currently is. There's three workers here, so I'm gonna pick this guy up, and he's gonna go one, two, three. And hey, he just picked up another orange. And because he crossed the three o'clock line, 
he also got a cart. Right, so that was my turn. Now it is Jen's turn. She's going to pick up a worker, and let's see, she's going to pick a worker from here where there's three. So that means she picks up, and this guy's going to go three. One, two, three. And you'll notice he just landed on this orange space where I am. Now the number of fruits you get wherever you end up is equal to the number of guys who are there when you get there. So Jen picked up a guy to move three spaces, landed here. There's three guys here. So Jen just picked up three oranges. And that, folks, is the crux of this puzzle. As you're moving around, you're trying to make moves that will get you the most stuff possible um, by you know, landing on spaces where there's already a bunch of guys. And Jen has just pulled off quite nice. I mean, with one guy, she got three oranges. It took me three guys to get those three oranges as part of setup. Now it is my turn again. Let's see here. So now this is interesting. Well, I've got my uh, donkey cart because this guy crossed the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it right now. Instead of picking up a worker and moving him around, I am instead going to deliver all these fruit. Now, when you do a delivery, you can deliver up to six pieces of fruit to any number of places you want on the board. Now, this is a kind of, this is a little bit unfortunate because if I had one lemon, I could deliver my, I could deliver five fruit, two figs and three oranges here. And if I had one lemon, I could also in one deliver that lemon that I need to that spot. But I don't have any lemons. So the question I got to ask is, do I want to make the delivery right now or do I want to try to get a lemon? But the other question is, can I get a lemon? Here's a lemon spot. So I'd have to land on here. If I picked up one of these guys, they'd move three spaces. He'd go one, two, three. He'd miss the lemon. If I picked this guy up, he'd go only one. He'd miss the lemon. If I picked up one of these guys, they'd go one, two, three. So right now it is impossible for me with the way the board is set up for me to get a lemon. But uh, if I want, uh, there is something I can do about that. If I don't make the delivery right now, instead, I'm going to pick up one of these guys. They're going to move three spaces because there's three here. One, two, three. And hey, I just picked up two more oranges. Yum, yum. And I just crossed the line again. So I got a second cart. Now, there is a danger. There's one big danger in this game. If you hoard stuff, carts or particular types of fruit, if the supply ever runs out of them, then everybody who is hoarding that particular fruit or donkey cart has to give all of them back. They lose everything. And then the person who collected new stuff gets all their stuff. So it's kind of dangerous to build up too long because you could lose everything. But um, I'm pretty confident right now um, because... Right, and so next turn, now that I've got these two guys here, I'll be able to move two spaces and land right here and get the lemon I need to have a nice delivery. But Jen can see that. She wants to make this lemon delivery before I can. So I think she needs to make a move pretty quick. She needs to cross the line to get her own donkey cart. Um, and this guy, or this guy can do it. This guy would move one, two and get a lemon a single one. This guy who's on a three space would move one, two, three and get her some grapes. Does she want to move? Either way, she's going to cross the line. She's going to cart. Does she want to collect a single grape or a single lemon? Well, if she looks around, none of the other tiles need lemons. I'm sorry, that's not grape, that's olives. So I don't think she wants to, you know, move this guy one, two to get lemons. Instead, she'll move this guy three, one, two, three. That gets her a single um, olive. And she crossed the line, so she got a donkey cart. And now it's my turn. Remember, I moved these two guys here. I'll go one, two. And hey, look at that. I got my two lemons. I am ready to go. I've got uh, the perfect thing lined up to deliver five here and one here. Because remember, with a single donkey, you can deliver up to six fruit wherever you want. But I was too late because now it's Jen's turn. She's going to use this donkey. And she is going to deliver. Where was it? I've totally forgotten what she was planning on doing. Um, well, okay, now she's got a choice. She, remember, she can do up to six. She could deliver three oranges to that space, three grapes to that space, and that's her six. But in a perfect world, she'd rather deliver something over here because she can see I can do that and she doesn't want to give that to me. So instead, what would she do instead? Actually, I didn't really look at this that close. Right, um, she needs grapes and she needs almonds. She doesn't have any almonds. She had almonds. She doesn't have the two dates she needs right there. Otherwise, she'd just go ahead and do that right out from underneath me. But she's only got one date. Um, oh, all right. Yeah, okay. What she'll do instead is she will deliver two oranges, two grapes there, and one lemon there. 
So now she's only delivering five, but by doing that, she's ensuring that I'll only be able to deliver five on my turn as well. Because, um, well, I mean, she could have delivered six and then I would have delivered six. But after this delivery is over, Jen's got a fair bit of variety of what she's got left over, whereas I'm kind of, I'm not very diversified. So we'll see how well that works. So anyway, so, and there aren't any more singles out, uh, which is, or, and there aren't any things that need one of each of these four. So that's all Jen's going to deliver. She's delivered five things. All this stuff goes back in the supply. She takes these two tiles. She's just basically scored five points. And she keeps track of the tiles she's got. And she has revealed a single almond, which nobody has. Nobody's collected any almonds. And six of a kind in this area. So now there's suddenly new opportunities for delivery. And so that was Jen's turn. It's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and make a delivery after all. And originally I was planning on doing the five plus one over here. I don't have an almond. But instead, I'm just going to go on ahead and deliver all six oranges to this space. Because I happen to have six oranges. And just like that, I scored six points. Boom. All right. And then I revealed a four of a kind. And just like that, there are only two more deliveries to be made to this area. And now what's going to happen is when um, a four of a kind and whatever's underneath this gets delivered, that's when this area is finished. A finca is going to get placed. And this bonus is going to be awarded. This bonus of five points is going to go to whoever has previous to that moment delivered the most dates plus almonds. So both Jen and I can see that that's coming pretty soon. And right now, well, interestingly, nobody has delivered any dates or almonds. So there's kind of a race now before this thing gets finished to deliver some dates and almonds. I've got two. Jen's got one. But three almonds could go here. And well, what's going to happen? It's Jen's turn. She's going to move a worker, get some more stuff, and um, hopefully collect, you know, do enough to you know, collect this or et cetera. There's all kinds of things going on. But Right off the bat, hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of what this game is all about. It's a very, very fast Moncala game. You're grabbing stuff, you're delivering stuff, you're scoring points. This is a quick and two player, for two players, less than half hour game. And I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what the game is all about. Although, one thing I haven't shown you is each player at the beginning of the game has four bonus actions they can use. Now, if you never use these bonus actions, at the end of the game, each one is worth two points. So there's eight points sitting here. But if there's ever a moment where it would be good to use them, it might be worth throwing away two points to be able to do something big instead. Now, if you'd like to see some of those come into play, you can hit the little I up in the top right corner of the screen to go to the extended playthrough. Or alternatively, you can go to Final Thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, Two, one.